Hello, I'm Patrick Wanners, human behavior expert, PhD. He's not the man I fell in love with. That's something I've heard many times from various clients. What does it really mean though? Does it mean that your man changed or does it mean that he truly revealed himself? Well, let's look at this by first answering a very simple question. What is it that you actually fell in love with? So first, write out, list and describe all the things that you say or believe you fell in love with. Skills, talents, abilities, and of course, values. Now the second question is, did you actually fall in love with who he is or who you thought he was going to become? You see, women make a huge mistake. They fall in love with the potential of a man. And then they expect the man to become what they want him to be. And he's not going to do it. It appears as if it's almost an inbuilt trait for a woman to find a man and say, I'm going to help you to grow, to evolve, I'm going to nurture you, I'm going to raise you, I'm going to help you to change, I'm going to help you to realize your full potential. Well, that approach should only be reserved for raising a child. Help a child to realize his or her full potential, but not a man. See, men don't generally like change. They don't want to be told they have to change, and they only want to change when they truly believe they need to or when they truly want to. So we come back to this point. What is it you fell in love with in this man? Did you just fall in love with his potential? Now, why does anyone change? Well, again, did the man actually change or did he just reveal his true self? How long were you in the relationship? Was it a short relationship or a long relationship? Was he putting on a mask or were you simply hiding? You see, it's easy for us when we fall in love to actually ignore the things that we don't like and to place all of our energy and focus on the things we do like about the other person. Then one day when the things we didn't like become too much, we suddenly say he or she has changed when really they haven't changed. They were always like this. Now the next aspect is, well, what do I do now? I understand that you're in pain. I understand it's really difficult that you can feel sadness, loss, grieving, disappointment. You can even feel like a failure. Now, the feelings are okay. And whatever you feel is okay. You're allowed to feel whatever you feel. The question now is, what are you going to do with those emotions? First and foremost, is this man willing to change? Is he willing to become what you want him to become? Again, most men don't like to change. So then the other aspect is accepting, accepting the truth, accepting reality. You see, we create anxiety by trying to control the things we can't. We create anxiety and extreme disappointment and even misery for ourselves when we try to change or control other people and we realize we can't. So get clear with this. Can you really turn back the hands of time? Can this man really become who he was? No, not if he doesn't want to. Maybe his values have changed. Maybe his desires have changed. Maybe he's now in a different phase in his life. So finally, it comes down to acceptance. Being grateful for whatever good you experience together and accepting that it's now time to take on a new canvas and create a new painting with someone else. I understand it's painful and I understand it's not necessarily easy, but you can make it easier for yourself when you're willing to accept. Accept your own emotions, accept the reality about this person, particularly if they don't want to change, then accept that there is always hope, that you can recreate something new, or in other words, create something new with someone else. If you'd like more help, you can also go to my website, patrickwanness.com. And if you really want more personal individual assistance, you can also book a session. Go to my website, patrickwanness.com, and look up phone consultations. Again, that's patrickwanness.com. I'm Patrick Wanness. Thank you.